Hello everybody and welcome to my review of Your Name, a Japanese anime film that had its US release in, on April 7th uh, and it was released by Funimation. Let's get right into this review and tell you exactly uh, all my thoughts about this film. I'm going to start by just talking about how original this film is. I really enjoyed this originality of this film. It was like a breath of fresh air to me because it took a concept that is so familiar to people and just breathed a new air into it, which is something few films are able to do nowadays. And this film did it so flawlessly and just injected it with so much energy with this new way of presenting an old concept that I personally really admire. That's something I love about this film. Not only is it hard to just make the original idea into something that's old, but putting in characters that really work is the next tough step of making this sort of a film. And the two main leads in this film, uh, their names are Mitsuha and Taki, are some of the most likable characters in modern cinema that I have had the privilege of seeing. Both of their characters are so well-rounded and so well-realized that they feel like they are real people. You feel like you are given a glimpse into someone's real, actual life, and that is something that gives this film a very authentic It should go without saying in a Makoto Shinkai film that the animation is beautiful. And one of the things I love about the animation is how well it understands the difference between city life, urban life, and rural life. And that's something that the best of filmmakers have a hard time doing. And at the same time, putting in and integrating these uh, fantasy fantasy genres into both of these two different scenarios of one country. That is a very hard task to do. And the way that he interwe interweaves fantasy into these two changing settings in one country, it's done so well. And I think that's one of the major reasons that I would recommend seeing this film is that even if you don't like the plot, whatever, you're not interested, just seeing how you can integrate fantasy into just about anything and do it well and um, make it work. I think that's a masterclass from that Makoto Shinkai's um, Your Name, and that's something that we have a lot to learn in, learn about here in America. So go foreign films for doing it before us. I'd say the last step of this film, the last step that really makes it great, is um, developing a re relationship between these two characters that is so essential to moving the plot along. No spoilers, but it is essential for this relationship to build between the two characters that will help you feel for them and what's happening to them in the story. And uh, personally, and I know that some of you will disagree with me, this is where the film faltered for me. So I'm going to get into a little bit of detail. Your Name is a very emotional film. And even though the subplots are a bit sci-fi or fantastical, the main crux of the film that it drives itself upon is I think the understanding of destiny and fate and how emotional those things can be and how two people's relationship is affected by destiny and fate. Um, hopefully not too many spoilers there, but basically that relationship to work, for me to see that relationship uh, be important was such an important part of this film. I think it was almost there, almost there but it failed to really flesh out for me. It kind of felt rushed towards the end. I felt that the relationship that existed between Taki and um, Mitsuha, the two main leads, felt kind of rushed towards the end. Like they needed to just build that relationship and to just as a plot device to keep the plot moving rather than giving it sweet time to get to that point. Um, 
So that's something that I think could have been fleshed out a bit more. It's not that they don't try, they do try. And there are parts where they're trying really hard to get you to think that that relationship is really important. But it just wasn't to the extent that I wanted to be, I think that's what I'm saying. It just needs to, it didn't have the push that I was looking for to the point where I could be like, yes, this relationship is authentic and now I can understand where this plot is trying to go. And it just couldn't get to that level of greatness for me personally. Just talking about the plot for a while. The plot of uh, this film is so intriguing. My eyes were just glued to the screen. We were enveloped and invested in this film, which is really hard to do um, as a director in general, especially with a film that's juggling so many different aspects. And to keep the audience invested and not confused and questioning and curious and interested, it's such a hard job. And Makatoshi kind of just pulls it off so well, so well. One of the better animated films of this year definitely is going to go down as one of the probably one of the best animated films of 2016 2017 whenever i know it had a little bit of an la qualifying run for the oscars before and now it just came out to funimation but um it proves that why uh makatoshi is called the next hayao miyazaki although i will personally say that i do like hayao miyazaki's films better um Compared to your name, I assume the cash off on some of Makoto's uh, before or previous uh, film filmographies. So, but your name really impressed me, and what a bang to start off with. And so, I just want to share a little bit of a story <laughs> that I had when I was in the theater. Not to give anything away, but um, coming out of this theater, I heard people bawling their eyes out. Uh, because they felt that the film was so emotional, which it really is. It's an emotional film. It's just that relationship part that I uh, feel like could have been flushed out more. But what an emotional film. We're an emotional roller coaster. And um, people were bawling. I heard another person say this is their second time seeing the film and they were still having a hard time setting back those tears. And um, it's a really emotional film. It's an emotional power pack film which is juggling a lot of different themes very well and it's the kind of film that you should see in theaters just because of its stunning landscapes um so yeah i would highly recommend you see your name so i'm going to give it my grade now to tell you how much you should see this film guys i'm going to give your name an a um just shy of an a plus i think if they had fleshed out the relationship a little bit more i could have been a little bit more invested but really um, it's a great film. I highly recommend seeing it in theaters while it's running. I know a lot of you might have already missed it or are going to miss it. But Funimation did start their release on April 7th. So if it's playing there in a theater near you, be sure to see it. And with that, tell me your name in the comments below and like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.